many of you students watching this video have your JE main preparation well and dropped. In fact, it was going very well until the recent notification from NTA has arrived. In that notification, they have mentioned few major changes which we will be having from this year in JE main exam pattern. Already these changes have created so much of hype and lot of confusion in all the aspirants of GE main. Hence, we at Perfect Academy have decided to decode these changes and explain you in very simplified manner. Hi, this is Professor Rajaram. I am founder and chairman of Perfect Academy. Every year, we train thousands of students to appear for JE main and achieve their dreams of IITs and NITs. Earlier in JE main, we used to have totally 90 questions. In each subject, they used to ask us 30 questions. So that has been slightly modified now. So instead of 30 in each subject, now you will be having 25 questions in each subject. I'm repeating again. So instead of 30 questions in each subject, you will be having 25 questions in each subject. Mathematics. So instead of 90 questions totally, you will be having 75 questions. Till last examination of JE main, we used to have all the 90 questions of JE main of only one type, multiple choice type questions with one correct option or one correct answer. However, now they have introduced one more type of question in JE main. In each section out of 25, you are going to have 20 questions as that of earlier type that is MCQ type questions where only one answer will be correct out of four given options. However, in rest of the five questions, they are not going to give you any option so that you can use method of elimination or method of guessing. However, you have to give answer in terms of integer from zero to nine. Overall, if you are looking at the entire scenario, you will be having 60 MCQ type questions and 15 numerical answer type questions. If student attends any question and gets it correctly, he or she will be rewarded with 4 marks. So in fact, each question in JE main carries 4 marks. So totally, this exam of JE main is for 4 into 75, 300 marks. Earlier, we used to have this examination for 360 marks, which has been modified now to 300 marks. If you don't attempt any question or for any non-attempted question, you will be getting zero mark. However, negative marking system is a key in JE main exam. Well, for MCQ type question, the negative marking rule remains same. If you attend the question and go wrong in the answer, then you will be getting minus one mark. So one mark will be deducted from your score. However, what is the negative marking policy for these new, new type of questions or numerical answer type of question? Well, these questions are very important to attend because if you attend these questions and get correct answer, you will be getting 4 marks as that of MCQs. But if you go wrong and if your answer is not appropriate answer within the certain range, then they will not be giving you a negative mark. So you will be getting zero mark even if your answer is wrong. So to summarize, we have a negative marking system for MCQ type of questions. So we have 60 questions in this category and we do not have a negative marking system for this numerical type answer, numerical answer type questions. So we have 15 questions in this category. So I recommend students to practice lot of questions of this type because in these type of question, you will be on a safer side as you do not have a risk of going wrong. So you will be having three hours of examination. However, you have to solve comparatively less number of questions. Earlier, we used to solve 90 questions in three hours, but now students will be solving 75 questions in three hours. year 
The J.E. main examination is conducted by NTA instead of CBSC. They started conducting J.E. main twice in a year. The first attempt of J.E. main will be conducted in January and second time it will be conducted in the month of April. First thing I would like to suggest you is don't give unnecessary importance and avoid the confusion about these changes. In order to do that, you must understand all the changes done in the examination pattern as compared to that of last year exam pattern and accept it and also start preparing accordingly. Remember, if any change is introduced by the exam conducting body, it is not only applicable for you, it is applicable for all the aspirants appearing for this examination. The second thing which you or which you should remember and start implementing from this day itself or this moment itself is alter your preparation accordingly. Remember, you should not change the content of preparation because they have not done a single change in the syllabus of JE main. So syllabus of JE main was as same as that of earlier. So you will have to study your 11th and 12th physics, chemistry, mathematics from your NCRT textbook first and then you can follow your standard study material or standard publication books for practicing variety of questions. However, what you should change is the type and quality of the questions you will be practicing. If you are practicing 100 questions in order to prepare a particular unit, I will strongly recommend from today itself you should keep 80 questions as MCQ type and 20 questions you should have of this new type of questions that is numerical answer type of questions. So you try to solve these questions without having options in mind and try to get correct answers for it. The same strategy you should be using or the coaching center wherever you are preparing should be using while conducting the tests. So in tests also we should give the same kind of a weightage that is around 75 to 80 percent of MCQ type of questions and we must have 20 percent of numerical type of numerical answer type of questions in preparation. If you like this video please give us a thumbs up share it with your friends and subscribe to our YouTube channel and don't forget to press a bell icon. Don't forget to comment in the comment box Particularly, what is your opinion regarding these new changes introduced by NTA?